I'd gotten a likely letter from Columbia, so I knew that was likely going to happen. And so I went through that list, and then UPenn was a bit of a shock. The rest of the Ivies that night were a wait list. And then getting to Princeton, the last one, it was, and then seeing the tiger appear on the screen, it was really a moment of shock. I didn't really process it at first. I was sitting next to my mom, and then she had my sister on FaceTime, and so she was showing her the TV, and then everyone was just frozen. And then my mom yelled, he got in. So that was really a wholesome moment. It was a lot of shock, lots of tears, lots of excitement that, you know, this thing that I'd been working for for the past, you know, even more than just high school. So it's really a dream come true. Hi, my name is Farhan Huck. I'm from Princeton Day School in Princeton, New Jersey, and I'm excited to be a part of Princeton's class of 2028. I had a clear idea of you know the things that I needed to hit, all the boxes that I needed to check, and so I was just trying to go one by one. You know, you had your standardized testing, the extracurriculars, community service, some personal projects, and then just something you know on this side, something interesting. So in school, I take furniture design, and so that's not something you'd expect you know some CS kid to be doing to be actually in the wood shop, making you know bookshelves and you know lamps and desks. So then I had a couple of the components that I thought you know. I should have but then I wasn't really sure you know how to bring it all together how to say you know this is for Han you can look at his common app he'll show you some personal side so in that I talked about religion which is really a core principle of mine but then in the activities list you'd see mock trial and so this CS kid is doing you know this work in law he's taking philosophy and ethics classes right so then I have a lot of different things that are I didn't really know how to bring together and so that's where I think Athena really helped me step up the game they showed me you know you have all these different places in your application. You have your activities list, you have your essays. For each college, you have three to four more essays. And so that's really how you should show them that you're not just this one faceted thing, but instead you have all these different sides and all these different things about you that are unique and interesting and you should share with them. And then that's also what you want know, to contribute to the college community, it sort of brought it all together. In terms of school size, I knew I wanted a relatively smaller school. I was looking at the best of the best engineering departments, sciences departments, math departments, right? And so Princeton just checked all of those boxes. It's also been the university that's been, you know, right in front of my face. I live in Princeton for the past 11 years. And so it was just an obvious go-to point for me. And I think one of the biggest factors were the people who'd went there before me. So from my school, there's almost guaranteed six people every year to Princeton. And so a lot of them were my friends, the best of friends that I had that were you know a year older than me right and then two or three of them ended up at Princeton so I was like this is a place for people like me and so it was an obvious choice for me especially when considering it in the early round it's a community that I know it's a place that I know it has people that I know and for good reason it ticks all the academic boxes there's a lot of academic flexibility I'm not locked into either a core curriculum or I'm not locked into my major as I would be at you know some big state school where CS is an extremely competitive major here I have the flexibility I can choose to be a theater major if I I want next year or I can branch out and expand and I'll have this ECE side of me and then also having this philosophy side this religion side and so being able to explore all of those different facets I think that's what draws me to Princeton the most. I think just appreciating the little details because in a lot of my essays I wrote about childhood memories when we would be brainstorming and I think of this one little thing and then out of that I'm able to form an entire story. It gave me an appreciation for thinking about, you know, just the little things. If it sounds cliche, the essay writing process helped me just to see that. I think mock trial, what you do is you develop a court case, you're given materials for this issue that's happened, you pick a side, prosecution, defense, and then you develop cases, you develop direct examinations, cross examinations, opening, closings, witness statements. That was something that I'd never explored before. And then you take all of that knowledge and then you go and present it to real judges, public speaking, debate, just those types of competitions I'd never taken part in before. And so it was a completely new experience. It activated a different side of my mind. I wasn't, you know, coding or part of the robotics team then. Instead, I was thinking about what's wrong, what's right. How do you prove these different things? How do you draw these connections between these ideas? Just through the court case, how do you connect this evidence to this person's intention at the time? So it was a lot of critical thinking, a lot of skills that I hadn't really exercised before. So it gave me really an opportunity to develop, to grow. It was also a big time commitment as I was able to draw connections between what I'd done and the motivations behind it and then showing the impact of what it was it forced me to step outside of my comfort zone and then just sort of helped enhance a different side of me.
the hardest part was managing all the different components. And so you had your common app, go in a meeting about that, and then it would turn out that we ended up changing it, right? So there's an entirely new set of ideas coming in from a different mentor on the team, which was completely appreciated, and it ended up actually working out. But then it would be the common app, and then you switch to a meeting about Princeton supplements, and then you switch to a meeting about an activities list, and then, you know, you go and build a website. So it's a lot of these different things that you have to juggle with and, you know, just mentally switch from one thing to the other. And I think that's where the mentors really stepped up because the Athena team, with how expansive it is, the amount of knowledge that the team has, right, and the amount of resources that are there, I think that's what really helped me through doing each of those things because for the essays, I had Sarov, Sir, and Nidhi, ma'am, and so I could go to them, I could, you know, just WhatsApp them, hey, I'm having trouble with this, and then that would be one thing that's just taken off my mind and I can focus on the other things. If I, am you know, need a little review on an activity list section, I need to get within the character count, I can just WhatsApp Ashi, sir, and then he's always there to help. Also in building the app, instead of me, you know, taking my time to build the entire thing through and actually, you know, learn the entire process when we were on a time crunch, instead the team had resources and then we were just able to leverage those and actually build the app and deploy it so then I can focus on the other things. My religion, identity, I think those are things that I'd never really cared to explore before because, you know, I'm sitting there taking the SAT, I'm not thinking about who I am as a person. And so just through taking practice tests or studying, realize something about your identity, apart from work ethic, productivity. In this process, it was sort of a different step, right? Common app, essay, brainstorming sessions. That was something that I'd never really done before. Actually sitting there trying to think about what's important to me, right? If they could just know this one thing about me through these 650 words, what would it be? So it was something that I'd never done before. Also through writing those essays, I think there were some 20 or so common app drafts, right? So in each of them, exploring a different facet of my identity, and so just learning and growing through that. Also through writing essays about my activities, and it showed me the purpose and why the initial motivation I had, even though when you're actually doing them, you might not think about them, but it allowed me to reflect on the things that I've done and the things that I want to do and just express all of that. I think when we scrapped the entire thing and we started anew. So I think this happened with my Common App. A couple of times we'd have, you know, this finished piece. I was like, great, this is amazing. It's been checked by everyone on the team. It's gone through all the things and then somebody would have a new idea. Right, and then I'm like, oh, not again. Especially when this happened around the end of December, right before regular decision uh, applications were due. And I was like, I have all these other supplements to write for these other schools. I already have this common app that I think is good enough. So why don't we just stick with this? But then the team would have a different idea. And in the moment, I'd be like, I have to do all this work again. But in the end, it was worth it. I think we developed a product that was much better than what we started with. But I think that's what happens when you have the support of these many people behind you. It's an effort that was well worth it. Finding a good balance between the things I need to do and the things I want to do. In the earlier years of high school, I was just, you know, study, study, study. But then from, you know, just talking to people, just, you know, reading about it, I understood that there's not really a then you'll be free at the end of it. I made sure to take any opportunity that I had to do the things that I wanted to do. I love driving, so I'd never say no to, you know, driving a friend home, things like reading, going to the gym, you know, this work and wait 15, 10 minutes, and I can just enjoy my time reading in school. In furniture design, I made a reading bench, and so I designed that, decked it out, put a 3D printed cup holder in it, and so just doing things that I enjoy instead of just the things that, you know, would check a box, the things that I'll forget in 10, 15 years, versus a bench that I'll still be sitting on in 10, 15 years. I didn't want to, you know, forsake my high school experience just for a college experience. Ambitious, they're never gonna let you settle for less than the best. Supportive, at every corner, no matter you know what it is you're doing, they'll always have someone there to help you, someone there to guide you through it. Holistic, the team cares about your personal growth. They're not just worried about getting you into the best schools, but they're also worried about getting the best version of yourself into those schools.